So join me in this video as tonight I stay in my very first travel lodge. Now I stayed in one hotel in Bradford called the Trig Hall and people were mentioning the travel lodge which right there is the worst one in the area. So I thought, you know what, let's give it a booking. Let's have a look and we'll just see how bad it is. Now I've got a pin number, but I don't know what to do to get into the building. So this travel lodge has a reputation for drugs, football hooligans, plus sex workers. Now when I say football hooligans, because Bradford City Football Club is not far from here. So when uh, home away teams come to watch Bradford City, this is where they stay and cause a lot of trouble as well. Sex workers, people off the streets come in here to do the business. It's quite common in hotels in town centres. And drugs, well, I think you get that no matter where you go now. But I've got to get booked in. Like I say, I have no idea how to do this because I've never stayed in a travel lodge before. This is absolutely crazy. Just got out of the lift and told what to do by someone smoking a joint. Here we go. So that was quite easy. There's reception. I'll show you that in a bit. First floor, come in here, room 101. And let's see how this works. There we go. It smells very bleachy. Is the view what we've got tonight uh, Foster Square so we've got a pound shop JD Sports and stuff like that put my card down there what's this open here oh it's a bottle opener <laughs> I'm pulling it like I think there's something inside it does not seem that bad really from what people have been telling me I, I, the picture looks a bit blurry. I wonder if it's. I don't know. Let's have a look in the bathroom. Have a quick look round here. Yeah, don't look too bad. I like the light. Oh, it's red, you know, around the top. That's pretty good. Uh, dark red tiles. The bedding. The bed looks quite good. It's got this raised thing here. Like there should be some drawers or something. I think. I don't know. It looks all right. Radiator's kicking out some nice heat. I don't get what the fuss is about. I told people, like my work friends, let's say, where I was staying, and they were like, by God, good luck with that, Daniel. I don't see what the I don't see what the problem is. This is not that bad. A good sign. I'm still asleep. So you put that on your door in the morning when they don't come and get you. Or wake you up, should I say? You got your first fire, first floor plan, so you know where to go in case of a fire there. Some fire information. Wow, I expected this place to be worse due to what people have been saying about it. You know, I'm saying that because I don't live a million miles away from this place, okay? And every time I've been in town, and I've said to my partner, oh, I wonder what that's like in there. She's like, ooh, there's a lot of stories. But in this room, it don't look too bad. And the TV works straight away. Yeah, it's a small TV, but I'm just in a small room. And look at the bed. The bed don't look too bad. I'm quite, is there something I'm missing? Am I missing something? That's what I'm trying to think. Right, 
Before we do anything, let's get the best things out of the way, because in a bit we're going to get the UV light out. We'll have a look around the room and we'll see if the UV light shows anything up. It always shows some, but I'm not sure if it's going to show much up in here. Let's have a bed check. And pullers are very soft, but that's not a bad thing either. I'm going to put the cushions on the chair because last time we were in the video someone told me off of throwing them on the floor. Uh, please top me up for tea, coffee and towels. So if you're staying for more than one night, you put this on the door. If you need, if you need to use refreshments, your towel. If you need us, sorry, to refresh your towels, tea and coffee, Empty your bin, please place me outside your door before 11 a.m. So basically, if you need anything to top up, 11 a.m., put that there. Yeah, the bed feels a little bit springy, but I'm not going to worry about that right yet. Yeah. Ugh. You're not going to better see it. One ginormous hair. Get that in the bin. Look. I can't always complain about hairs all the time. People do sleep on the beds. I've got to understand that. One hair here and there is understandable. Wow. Wow, wow my God, what has gone on on this mattress? You always know there's going to be something, don't you? No matter what you do, you just always know there's going to be something wrong. It can never be 99% bang on, can it? Well, it is, well, it isn't, but you know what I mean, don't you? This mattress is a right mess. There's more colours on this on the bloody rainbow. Unbelievable. What a mess of a mattress. I'm just going to stand this mattress up. Let's have another look. Wow, you can't half feel the springs. It sounds like someone's just flushed the toilet. Both sides are just absolutely disgusting. What? A a dirty mattress. Let's bring you in closer. So I'm pretty sure you can see that stain. Now that could be a coffee stain. Maybe a coffee stain. I'm, I could put that down to being coffee. <laughs> see, this is all one colour and the outer edge is a bit darker. That's why I think it's a coffee stain. But this one it's darker on the outside so this could be sweat stains same again there all oh, that side of that mattress there looks absolutely dirty but yeah um saying coffee stain because you just like i say it's a lot darker here but also the inner is dirty as well there's a couple more hairs there There's a lot of stains here. This is this is quite dirty. Got all that there. A lot of big dirty stains. Yeah. That mattress is absolutely disgusting. Come on, Travel Lodge. I'm sure you could do better than that. No matter what one of these places make. Yeah, stains all down that mattress there. It's like it's been dragged on the floor, see it? So we do get a one litre kettle. Well, it's quite a small kettle, that. It's almost the same size as my hand. We get two cups, a few tea bags, coffees. Uh, 
what's that stuff milk sugar wow the proper pack of these in here aren't they? coffees what the tea bags are these you tips you probably get enough there but I won't be drinking any of that so I won't even need to leave this outside for refreshment top up in the morning I've noticed the plug socket looks really dirty and there's like some marks on the wall here here like a lot of handprints going on there like some water marks on the wall there but I'm probably just being picky but I do like this here let me show you what this is I'm going to tell you about this fashionable chair what is quite heavy you do get a bin down there what's got that hair in in your desk like say you get a socket in case you want to do anything with your laptop throat I just stuck my bag on it the windows are restricted so you can only open them so far it's quite nice to get a bit of a breeze in and we're overlooking the builders yard very nice windows are dirty as well need a bit of a clean curtains hmm. Don't look too bad now, but uh we to put the UV light on them. And you know what they remind me of? Rock. Blackpool rock. That's what they remind me of. But I like the colour scheme. It's really nice. And here we get some more pillows. Problem with them ones is you'd think they were clean, but you don't know if someone else has used them and just put them back in. Couple of six unstealable hangers you can't get oh they're not unstealable i've took it straight off so how's that unstealable oh that's that meant to happen you get a large mirror and you have a plug socket tv safety alarm I like how it's all hidden behind the TV, so you're not seeing it all when you're in bed. You do get a fairly decent sized towel as well. That's pretty decent. Now, let me just show you what this is behind here. So if you press this one here, it brings up. Well, that one brings that light. I did it wrong way around. But look at the backlight there. That is really nice. Bit dusty, it's got some dust in places. But look at that. That is quite nice, that. I really do like that light on back at bed. Let me know what you think about that in comments, please. Let's turn the main lights out. There we go. Don't that look quite romantic? I really do like that idea. And here we are, we're in the bathroom properly. I love the background of the light in bed. I really do like that a lot. Shower. It looks clean. It's absolutely spotless. Got a bit of a caution sign there. Yeah, it's not tiles, it's like plastic cladding sheeting. I thought that was silicone, but it ain't. It's like a whole one unit. Yeah, the whole bathroom looks like it's a complete unit. Yeah, cause I thought it stopped here, but it continues round here. Round here. Up there. It's like it's like it's been made to s just fit in the room, basically. A couple of scratch marks here, but I'm not bothered about that. Got some toilet roll. Something going on here. I'm not bothered about that though. The hand wash. Tap's not too bad here, look at that. Hot water. Perfect. I like this. This is good to help people with 
difficulties getting in and out of the shower. The shower just looks odd. It just, <laughs> I can't explain the shower. Let's turn it on. If I can. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you were. Uh, I was turning this. You've got to turn all this. Wow, it's got some good flow of that, hasn't it? And it's nice and warm already. Right, we'll turn that off for now. However we do it. Hair and body wash. Oh, wow. It's got some fire, uh, firepower. It's going to shoot it all out there. Right. <laughs> what a waste. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Shower curtain's a little bit wet now. Then you get another towel or two behind the door. But yeah, it's like a complete unit, just one whole unit. Toilet, let's have a look in the toilet. Clean, I was expecting it to be clean. <laughs> At the moment, I am seriously struggling to find the reason why people said you risk you going in there. I really don't get it. I don't know if it's people just taking, oh, it's having a bit of a joke. I don't get it. It's, it's, it seems really nice. And for the price, I'm, I'm blown away by it. Yeah, it's not a massive room. Yeah, it's not fantastic. We're in, we're in Bradford, let's say, for instance. You know, it's not like anywhere fantastic. But for what it is, I just don't see what people's problem is with it. So you see here, all the paint on the skirting board is breaking away. But that's just paint. I thought it was like damp and stuff. But no, it's just paint breaking away. Maybe it's been wet before or something. So I've been looking around this hotel room with the UV light. And I think I've got enough to show you. Now, when, when I say I walked in the room, it looks really nice. And I'm not even going to go back on that because it does look really nice. If you didn't have a UV light, you'd notice nothing. And that's me being honest. So... For the room, yeah, I think it's brilliant. The second you get a UV light out, you see a lot of stains, what you're not gonna see normally. And I can't expect the hotels or the B&Bs to sort the problems out if they do not have a UV light, because the UV light shows a lot of stain. But then on the other hand, the stuff is, who, car who else carries UV light when they stay in B&Bs and hotels? My purpose of this video is just to show you, if you're thinking about booking this travel lodge and you want to have a look at one at rooms, this is what it's like. It's, it's really good, It's it looks polite, it looks welcoming, it's calming, there's no crazy colours going on, it just looks decent. But what I'm going to show you with the UV light, you wouldn't see it if you didn't have one. That's all I'm going to say. So first of all, I'm going to start with a few bits in the bedroom, then we'll go into the bathroom and then we'll look at the mattress so it just shows they're not cleaning around the toilet properly either let's clean there again and there you go that's after me just wiping it down with a bit of water on some toilet tissue how much cleaner it can be Once again, all the way on this ledge here, it's just dried up water. Bit of wiping down, that'll go away as well. On this bit of wall here, close to the toilet, there's a lot of splashes and runs on the wall. 
But like someone said in a previous video, this if someone don't put the toilet seat down, like I am, yeah, that's a toilet roll I use to clean the sink and the toilet base, then this is gonna be caused by the toilet splashing water out. So it's probably quite common, even in your own home, that happens. Now, I think you can see the stain there, what I'm on about to you, but the bed from a distance it's got like here it just looks quite I don't know I don't think the camera's picking it up as good it just looks like so the water's being leaked there and then all the way around the edge of it it's just pushed its way out I can't understand it but yeah there's definitely a, a big stain there as well but it's just not the dirtiest, but also not the cleanest I've seen. It's a bit of a weird stain there. Let me put the light on. Let's see if this works better with the light on. Yeah, I think you can see it a little bit better there now. Just above the light, there's a bit of a stain. Something going on there. But yeah, it's it's not the worst. But it's also not the best. I'm, I'm mixed up about this, I'm not too sure. You can always comment below and let me know what you think about it. So there's a couple of stains there on one as well. Couple of fingerprints, handprints. I wonder what the hell's been going on there. There's another decent mark there. Some here. That is a good one there though, isn't it? I like that one. That's a good stain, that. So for the gentleman who asks me to show the pullers a lot more, the pullers and the quilt are very clean. You can tell they must get changed and washed a lot. But look, without the UV light, this room, it, it's not bad for the price I paid either. It really isn't. I don't see what the big problem is. I, I can't see what people keep banging on about. So far, I've heard no sex workers. I've heard no drug, drug takers. I don't know. Football hooligans, that depends on game day. But I don't get it. So I said to the lady anyway, I said, oh, I, said, uh, I, should, I told her where I was. She goes, oh, you're in cheap rooms, that's room, you know, first floor. So I can't see the people, the ladies, let's say, or the gentlemen, let's not blame on ladies, who do this sex work business. I can't imagine them paying a lot of money for rooms, can you? You'd think to try booking the most cheapest room going, which is this one as well. Oh my God, my room could have been used as a sex working room. Oh my God, I should have thought about that. <laughs> That's where handprints have come from. <laughs> right, let's forget about that, okay? Let's just scrap all that idea. As night rolls in, we'll probably have a lot more action. I'll let you know if we do. So I'm just on the way out and I noticed on the card that they give you what's attached to your card in the door. So it says your first 33 minutes of Wi-Fi is free, but after that you pay three pound for 24 hours. Three pound for 24 hours. Is that worth it? I'm unsure, I don't know actually. Three pound 24 hours. I suppose if you don't have no data on your phone, probably is decent in it really. Right, already, I'm about to go out and there's people outside shouting other people in this hotel and they're shouting out of the windows at them. I wonder if tonight could be very lively.
So this place has 418, 418 rooms. Right, so I'm back from doing a bit of shopping. You can't buy them plastic carry bags anymore. You gotta buy a bag for life. What? So it says game time on it. So what did I buy? A few bags of crisps. I got them from the vending machine in the entrance, £1.50. Paprika, Walker's Max. Really nice them ones. And I've got, uh, just a few little sandwiches. Sun and fried chicken wrap. And I got a chicken tikka wrap. So these like meal deals. And then two bottles of family. I brought a couple of bits in there that are going to be part of the fun later on. So I'll show you them later. <coughs> now what you do, your phone always goes off when making videos. Oh, I've got a Fanta and a Tango. Didn't realise that. Well, that's alright, innit? You can get two of the same one. <coughs> yeah, these rooms, they're not made for long term staying, are they? And mainly I book a couple of nights when you're on the move up and down country and stuff like that. I'm not sure if any of the travel lodges uh, homed the asylum seekers or not. But you can't go wrong for the price of this room, really. So I paid £45 for one night. For no reason, really. Just to show you inside a travel lodge what's meant to be in google one of the worst rated hotels one of the worst rated hotels in bradford and so far i don't really see much wrong with this place yeah we don't have a view builders yard not much going on really it seems really quiet so I don't know how people are rating these hotels. I really don't. If it's bad as Blackpool, I get it. But these ones seem alright. Right, I'm gonna eat my dinner and I'll bring you back. I don't know where you can see it, but there's a a big blue wagon down there that's come to pick up like all the, the washing and stuff. And there's a lady next to him that's trying to beg him for some money. Sitting at a window, middle of Bradford Centre, <laughs> and you're seeing stuff like this. You know, really, it's not a bad spot for an hotel, this, because where the shop were there, what I showed you, directly behind that's the train station, and then end of the train station is Bradford City Football Club. So you can see a lot of people coming to travel to play Bradford City. You can see why a lot of fans do use this hotel if they're going to be staying overnight, you know, getting up here early morning before the game. You can see why a lot of fans do come here and use this hotel. I don't think it's got anything purpose in the area for really. There's no attraction in Bradford. There's no to look at, let's say. Best thing they ever made were Broadway. And apart from that, it's a pile of rubbish. So, yeah, it might be taken up by sex workers and football hooligans. But in the meantime, it's keeping probably local people in a job who work in the hotel. So, it's a 50-50 it's a thing, isn't it? It's a bad thing and a good thing. To me, I don't really care because after a night, I don't really have any reason why to come back to this travel lodge. See so we are, people. The time to get the marigolds on. Is it first time seeing this part in my video? I do it for a bit of fun. Not too serious. We've got a few wipes available already. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nip over probably the most common places where you might see a bit of dust above the mirror. Maybe on top of this little shelving thing and round the door frame. A door frame is always a good point to go to. So let's have a look at the top of the mirror and the TV frame first. I 
absolute spotless. See if I can turn it around a little bit here. Can't knock it, can we? In on top of this little white box here. Absolute spotless. There's no dust at all. Right, let's go try the door. What can I say, people? Absolute spotless. I do keep up to cleaning this. First time ever on this channel. No dust. Well, it's all about having a bit of fun on this channel, isn't it? Let's go take a shower. Wee hey! So I need to be up early in the morning at half past five. I need to be out of here for six. So I think now if I talk quickly about the room, the hotel and my thoughts about it, it's probably a good time for me to do it now. So the hotel, £45 for the night for the room. You get your TV, your kettle, perfectly good working shower and bathroom. Very clean. The mattress is a bit of a letdown, but it's got a mattress topper and a sheet, so that's okay. A few airs, I think you've got to accept you're going to get airs wherever you go. There's always a chance of that. There's... A couple of things what I've been said in the past, in like sex workers coming here with clients, just, let's just put it like that. Now, I don't see how it is because every time I've come through, and I've been out a few times for a little walk, a bit of fresh air, they've always come in to the, like the reception to see who it is. So I think if you're with a group of people who's not meant to be here, I think they will realise that and say something. The lad did come out with a, a spliff in his hand and it stunk the place out. I can get that, but is that just somebody walking in after that and then putting that down in the reviews? I think that could be very possible. Like I say, I don't know, them two categories, I could say no, but I could say yeah, I'm just completely unsure about it. But from what I've seen, I can't believe any of that really. Not proper hardcore drug taking anyway. There's one thing I will say, Whenever plumbing goes on, you wear the lot of it. Like I can have somebody else getting a shower now. You wear a lot of the noise. It's quieting down outside. If I didn't have that UV light as well, you'd, you'd think it was like a really perfectly good hotel, really, wouldn't you? Well, I'm going to leave you with the thoughts. So do comment below and let thoughts. Did I say thoughts or thoughts? I'll leave you with your thoughts. And uh, please do comment below. I'm going to get some sleep and I hope to see you in the morning. Well, good morning, people. Six o'clock in the morning. The mattress is it's quite springy. It's it's not the comfortest mattress I've stayed on. It definitely isn't the cleanest either, but it is what it is in these sort of places. Now, I ain't got time to carry on recording, so I'm going to end this video here. All I can say is, I don't know past people have had the problems staying here but I think this is one of the best ones I've stayed in so far £45 I can't really complain can I yeah there's a few stains you get that in every B&B hotel or guest house that you stay in but for now I want to say thanks for watching if you like this sort of video and it helps you can press this here by subscribing to my channel somewhere there like that I'll leave another video up there for you to watch and I just want to say thanks to everyone again for helping me get over 9,000 subscribers.